everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. This should be very familiar to you because I wore it in a previous video and a lot of you wanted to find out what I did to create this makeup look. So if you want to find out more about the look, then just keep watching. So as I said in the intro, today's video is a makeup tutorial. I have not filmed a makeup tutorial in quite some time. You guys tend to like to watch my favorites as well as my hauls and my product reviews, but typically makeup tutorials, oh I have like lash glue everywhere on my hands. <laughs> Typically makeup tutorials aren't your favorite videos, so I don't film them often So if you do want me to film more makeup tutorials, then be sure to give this video a like So this was the look that I was wearing in my favorites video for October and I tried to recreate it a lot of times when I recreate looks I can't get it exactly the same, but it will be close. It was a pretty look but I was surprised that a lot of you wanted me to recreate it I was a little bit surprised that you all loved it so much, but I'm happy you loved it this look is glammed up, but it's very wearable for a lot of people, I think. The one thing that is different about this look is I didn't wear the Halloween lashes. I had like lashes that were kind of glittery when I did this look before. I have on my House of Lashes in Iconic Lights and I haven't worn them in a long time and I decided to go back to them because they're like one of my all-time favorite lashes and I haven't worn them in a while. The palette that I used in today's look is this Sephora Pro warm palette and it was the very first time I had ever used the palette. It came out, I don't know, a year, two years ago and it took me some time to actually purchase it and I have had it in my stash for a while and I hadn't opened it. This palette is I think $68 at Sephora but look at how many shades you get and when this palette came out everyone was going crazy over this Sephora Pro palette in warm. This is the look and you guys let me know in the comments if I did a good job recreating it. I'm gonna take you from beginning to end with this look. I'm gonna do a voiceover so that it will go a little bit faster. But if you wanna find out how I created the look, then just keep watching. So here I'm starting off with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to just evenly distribute that on my skin. Then I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Face Base Primer. It's really good for combo and oily skin. I'm gonna use a generous amount all over the face. Next, I'm going in with this Tarte Limited Edition Smoothing Primer. It's really good in the area where you have visible pores. So I like to put this all over my T-zone and that Limited Edition lid is the bomb. Next, I'm moving on to my new foundation from La Mer. This one is the shade Amber. In the past, I used the shade Honey based on my shade match at Sephora. So I have two pumps of the Amber foundation. I'm applying it with the Beauty Blender. On the day that I filmed the first video, I used a brush, but lately my skin has been feeling a little bit dry, so I've been enjoying using a beauty blender. The one thing is that it's more of a sheer coverage, so I'm going back in with a half pump just to cover some of the areas where I see some blemishes or scarring peeping through, and even after that, they were still peeping through. Now I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This concealer is more emollient, so I only like to apply it under the eye. And then I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy in Biscuit to apply to the remainder of my T-zone area as well as a little bit under the eye. And I think my Bye Bye Under Eye shade is Rich Tan, just to let you guys know. I'm blending that all out with the Beauty Blender. As you can tell with these two concealers, they're just a shade lighter than my foundation so they give you a more natural appearance so if you're someone who doesn't want your concealer to be too highlighted then going maybe one shade lighter than your foundation is the way to go so this is where things get interesting so I'm using my flower powder and it's at the very end. This is the yellow shade and I got as much out of it as I could. So then I grabbed my Huda Beauty banana bread to mix the two together to finish my T-zone area. 
I believe the Beauty Bakery flour powder is a little more yellow than this banana bread, but we're gonna make it work today. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use Peach Perfect around the perimeter of my face. In that particular video, I was talking about Peach Perfect as a part of my favorite, so I wanted to use it that day. Here I magically completed my brows using the ABH Brow Definer and I am dusting off all of the powder that is remaining on my face. Now I'm opening a new Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. I have purchased a few of these. I really love this primer for my lids. Now we're gonna start on the eyeshadow look. I'm using the Sephora Pro Palette in Warm and I'm starting out with Sandstone in the transition area. Let's zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna blend that out and I kind of noticed that I added more of this warmth, this orangey color than I did the first time. So if you notice that this is a warmer eyeshadow look, that is why. So now I'm gonna take this yellow, I know I used it on the first day but I couldn't quite remember when. <laughs> the yellow shade was called Okra and I'm going back and forth and adding in the orange color to blend into the transition area. Using this Sonia G crease brush, I'm gonna blend in the shade Clay into the crease. I feel like these shades are a little bit tricky to blend and I'm kinda new to the palette of course, so I'm going to try different brushes to see if I can get a better blend than I did in this video. The previous shade that I used to deepen my outer corner was Cedar and then I'm adding a little bit of black and in the first look, the first time I did this, I think I had a little more black. So the look turned out to be a lot more neutral than it did in today's video. But again, we're gonna keep it moving. And here I'm just kind of switching back and forth between different brushes, just really trying to blend the shadows and I just had a tough time getting them to blend and I remember that the first time I used the shadows as well so I'm gonna try some of my synthetic brushes and see if that helps so I sharpened the outer corners by adding a little powder and now I'm gonna go on to my lid color this is the shade bronze and I used this color on that day because the shirt I was wearing had some yellow in it and I thought that that would really complement the blouse and it really did and the shimmer shades in this palette are beautiful amazing and here I'm deepening the outer V by adding some more black. I was really trying to get that look to look like it did the first time. But again, it was a little bit too warm, I believe. But I added black and then I went back and added this kind of deeper gray shimmer. It sort of looks brown in the video, but it's kind of a grayish brown. That grayish brown shimmer shade is called Coconut Shell. So I guess it's the shade of a coconut shell. Here I'm gonna highlight my brow bone using the shade Sand. It's a really, really pretty shimmer for highlighting the brow bone, highlighting the inner corner. And I remember in the original video that my brow bone was really popping and I didn't have the same concealer that I used to carve out my brows when I did this video today. And I think that made a big difference as well. So here I'm using some of the same shadows on the lash line that I used to create the eyeshadow look above. <laughs> And I'm only taking it halfway because I use a lot of the shimmer shade to highlight the inner corner and I take that all the way into the middle. And I'm applying my eyeliner, it's an Urban Decay eyeliner and I sharpened it with the NARS sharpener. And I'm carefully lining my lid. This is the Benefit liner, that matte black one. I'm lining my lid and I actually did like a little mini wing. And when I do my wing, I just kind of do a little bit at a time to try to get my wing as precise and accurate as possible. So off camera, I applied some mascara. I'm gonna wear falsies. And this is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's really, really good. I used that first. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply my MAC Giga Black Lash, whatever it's called now, to my lower lashes. And before I talk about my lashes, these are the House of Lashes in Iconic Lights. Let me just say, I really need to use my lash serum because I can just tell my lower lashes are just becoming more and more puny as well as my top lashes. 
and I use a serum usually and I need to get back on it. I have a video on my channel talking about that serum. You can get it from Amazon and it's called Lavish Lash. And today I was having a really good lash day. I'm using my bullseye applicator from Sephora. And if you make sure your glue is just the right tackiness and you just drop those lashes in place, these will just land and are really, really easy to apply. The lashes are easy to apply and the tool really helps. This is the Lancome Art Liner and I like to use this liner to cover my lash band. This one has a flexible wand as you can see and it's really black and it's just easy to use and it's perfect for lining the top of your lid. I wouldn't say it's the greatest for actually creating a wing but if you're a person that just likes to line the top of your lid, I really like this one. Here I'm just going back in with some black. I'm trying to get the look to look like the original. I'm failing miserably but I'm trying guys. <laughs> now it's time for a bronzer. So I've just cracked open a new Guerlain in number five. This is a terracotta bronzer. When I first filmed this video, I used the Four Seasons and they don't make that anymore. And so I decided to purchase a new one of these because after filming that video and recently, I've just been using that other bronzer a lot and realized how good it is. This is like one of the best bronzers ever, ever. So now I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Buffing Brush to just buff out any harsh lines that I see. So I decided to use a little bit of my Peach Perfect Powder to kind of carve out the bronzer to give a more contoured look even though it's bronzer. And I only left it there a few seconds and here I'm just sweeping it away. So I'm going to take my bronzer brush to just sort of blend everything together with no additional product. And I'm moving on to blush. This is the Hourglass Ghost Palette. This is a holiday palette. I really, really like this sort of luminous blush and I'm just mixing those bottom two shades of the quad together. I'm using this Mikasa Beauty blush brush and in a second it's getting ready to start shedding all over my cheek. It's shedding. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna move on to this Precise Blush Brush by Sephora. Now it's time for highlighter and I'm gonna use this ABH Limited Edition Nicole Guerrero palette that you can't get anymore. I'm so sorry, but I used it that day because I talked about it in my favorites because really I have been using it a lot in the month of October. I took it with me when I moved to my temporary home because I knew I wouldn't use it on camera because it's limited edition and no longer sold. But here I am using it on camera because you guys requested the look. I'm sorry, but isn't this beautiful? Here I'm just using my beauty blender to soften the highlighter and blend everything together. So today I'm switching it up and I'm using the Chestnut Liner by MAC. I wanted a deeper look I think that day and so I'm lining my lips first and then I'm applying this Sable Smoke Lipstick by Tom Ford and honestly I could have really stopped after applying the lipstick. I really liked how that looked in this video. So I also used the Milk Latte Lip Gloss by Dose and after I wore it in this video, that last video, I found out they don't make this anymore. And I didn't apply quite so much the first time. I realized that after I filmed this video that the first time I didn't have on so much of the brown lip gloss. So the last thing on my lips is the Gerard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope Gloss. This is their Lighted Glosses. And I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Setting Spray. And this completes the look. So I hope that you've enjoyed this fall makeup tutorial. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.